All right, if you're watching this video, you want to download Pokemon Black 2 or White 2 for your computer uh, as a ROM. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the link in the description, and it will lead you to a website with a ton of screenshots as you scroll down, and underneath them, there will be videos, download, and patch ROM. I'll give a Skype message, of course. Anyway, uh, all links are good, checked, and okay. Now, if you click this, there will be a turbobit.net, and where I live in America, not Connecticut, it doesn't let me use that. So this is, yeah, unavailable in my country. Whatever. Not a big deal. You're going to use the second link to download Pokemon White 2 Clean ROM version, Frenzy J, Nintendo DS. And you're going to get the AdFly link. You just click this, do your normal AdFly stuff if you're unfamiliar with it. Well, I mean, just use the internet for a couple more hours. You'll understand. Once you have that, it'll be uh, a folder. That I believe is called 6043, it's zipped, and it's in my downloads right there. Uh, just make sure you have that. Next, you're going to need to download something else to actually be able to use it. Uh, because of an anti-piracy thing uh, that they set up, it's impossible to gain experience, which pretty much pretty much ruins the game. Now, when you patch it with this, uh, if you scroll down a bit more past these screenshots, we get to the download it and extract mirror download thing right here. You just click the download it link. I get another AdFly site, you skip it, and you download this. Uh, this one's a folder. Also, it's set to my downloads folder. Called English underscore black and white underscore Pokemon version 2.2. Inside of this, you'll run the X Delta UI mod. And you should also have X Delta and then these little translation things. Hopefully this will open soon. Just run it as an administrator to make sure it opens. You don't have to run it as administrator normally, that's just my thing to make sure that I actually opened it correctly. Okay, and now I have two of them open, I'll just close one. What you do is, once you have this open, patch, which is the top one, you click open, and you need to find what you want to actually, uh, you're going to want to go to downloads in here and then pick one of your two translations for the top one I'm gonna use the white 2 translation and then this one's your source file now in your downloads in the zipped folder you just open it up and then take the .nds file out what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it onto my desktop with control C control V if you know your keyboard shortcuts uh, it'll just take a minute uh, so right here's the output file and we'll just make an area for this. It'll be on my desktop. We'll call it Pokemon. And you want to make it .nds. I don't know if it works without it, but I've done this. Uh, I have it up at the top of my screen, blackrom.nds. And uh, that works fine for me. Now it's on my desktop. You just got to go find it. It's B. Ah, right here. Once you have all of these... The top one being the translation, the middle one being uh, what you actually want to change, which will be from your 6043 folder, and your output being on your desktop. You apply it. And it will apply the patch directly to this. Uh, okay, and then if you do it right, it'll say file patch successfully. Now what we've done is we've turned part of it in English, not all of it, they're not completely done yet. And you can gain experience on your Pokemon, so you can actually play the game correctly. Now what you do is you open Desmumi or whatever you use for um, your emulator. I use Desmumi personally. Um, and if you don't have any of them, uh, you can just pretty much Google Nintendo DS emulator and it should work fine. You open your ROM straight off your desktop. It's called Pokemon.nds. Give it a second because it's going to lag. Just blow it up. And voila. Um, generally, it's going to lag, so you might want to change around your configurations, maybe turn off the sound. Um, there's a frame skip, I have mine on too, and it seems to work pretty alright as long as I'm not like recording or anything. 
because you can see right now it's lagging pretty bad. Oop, I should have turned Skype off before this, honestly. And I'll just show you just a little bit of the game. Uh, it, my graphics are going to be terrible, A, because I'm using a screen capture program, not like an actual gaming recording thing, and because it's blown up out of proportion. It's it's supposed to be many sizes smaller than this. Um, so since I just made this, I don't have enough. I don't have an actual file yet. I've been playing this game on my other ROM of it. And it asks all of this. There's Professor Juniper or whatever her name is in Japanese. Yeah, it's terribly laggy. I'm just. I don't think this is gonna change much, but yeah, obviously since I'm recording, it's really laggy. It's not normally this laggy. I can. It actually usually runs a bit faster than normal because I frame skip on too. And if you hold tab, it's supposed to speed it up. But obviously, if it's lagging, it's not going to speed anything up. But yeah, the game works. This is uh, Pokemon Black or White Two. I'm pretty sure it said that it was game that White Two. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or send me a personal message on YouTube. Make sure uh, you like this video. Uh, obviously, it's just one click. It's not going to ruin your life or anything for liking a video. Uh, and, yeah, if you have any other questions, I'm not that hard to get in touch with. Uh, thank you for watching.